welcome to Copenhagen thanks for dropping in today's video is an unboxing with a difference um, this one is a box that I received from Billy who has his own YouTube channel called Billy's Diamond Painting and more and the way that this one came around was uh, because I did a video about um, tic tac boxes which I use for storing uh, the drills and Billy commented on the video and I think if I remember correctly his comment was um, tic tac boxes suck so I got in touch with them through Instagram and we got talking it's uh, it's quite unusual to find another guy that does diamond painting we are very few and far between so we got talking and um, asked him what he uses for storage and he said that he uses harbour freight uh, tubs and i tried uh, searching for them on amazon.de which is in germany which is the closest place for me since i'm in denmark but they didn't have any so we were just generally chit-chatting and billy said i'll get some and I'll send them to you. So, true to his word, he did. And 72 days later, I received a package. So this is the package that I received. Um, it was posted out on August the 24th and it arrived um, here uh, uh, on the 4th of November. So that was uh, 72 days to get here. I think we had both decided it had gone missing. So I was uh, quite surprised and very pleased that it did turn up because I thought this was uh, a very nice gesture from Billy um, to send me this and uh, show me exactly why he uses Harbour Freight. So of course I'm well prepared and forgot the knife so I'll give me a second here we go so as I said I've been uh, talking to Billy a few times uh, through Instagram it's quite nice to actually meet another guy who does diamond painting uh, I don't think that very many men do this so, <clears throat> 72 days of waiting, and I know that he's put some extra stuff in, but I don't know exactly what. He told me to check the boxes. So, okay. So he sent two, and I can see he sent some other things. Um, I'll move the boxes now. I'll have a look at this first box. Very nice, Billy. Uh, he's got a business card here, so as you can see, he's on YouTube. And this is his business card. He's also got a Facebook page and Instagram, Billy's Diamond Painting. So, very nice, very, very professional. And I'll have a look at what's in this one. Um, okay, this is a... He sent a lot of stuff. Um, <coughs> this is a straightener. I've seen them, but I've never uh, actually seen one in person. So, this is a straightener. Uh, would come in really handy to straighten the, the sides of your diamond painting. And you can see you can get a good section straightened just by gently pushing them across. It's pretty cool. Um, as I said, I've seen them. Um, 
I've seen them on websites, but this is the first time I've actually seen one in real life. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I recognise these, I think. I think this is uh, release paper or cover sheets or uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, don't want to waste the, the wrapping. But I'm pretty sure that's what this is. The cover sheets uh, are definitely a thing that, that I like to use, and I'm going to have to cut this. Um, I would I would certainly recommend them rather than uh, using the, the cover paper that comes with your diamond painting and you have to cut it into sections as you work it um, if you take the whole cover off and replace it with these it makes things a lot easier they're very very slippy um, whoa okay they are that slippy so for anybody that has never seen these things um, basically what you do is you remove the, the the normal cover paper that you get on your diamond painting and you replace it with these things. So um, these are good ones because they are shiny on both sides, not all of them are. So it doesn't matter which way you put it, it won't stick to the glue. So if you imagine that I had a diamond painting here, you put this one down and then slightly overlap the next one down, the next one, uh, all the way over it, and the, I, the reason that you overlap is so that you can pick them up and peel them off, and then you're working on an area this size, which is, I think, a reasonable size of area to work on at a time. I like to keep the diamond paintings totally covered. Um, I would cover them in these sheets, and then I put... Um, these uh, these are actually uh, dinner mats that I use and I have a diamond painting that I'm working on underneath here just now so I cover the whole diamond painting in these and then put the mats on top to hold everything down it, it means that I can put things on here without them sliding off and it stops these uh, getting bent back and pressed on or anything like that <coughs> if you only use the cover sheets and you use it as a work area and start putting things on it if you have a tilted table like I use it may, everything will slide off it so that's why I put these mats on it it holds everything down and it stops things from sliding so it gives you a good work area so this is this is a perfect size um, I would say it's not too big so what you do is you peel this off and then you work on the area underneath it. If you don't finish it and you've still got some glue area, you put the sheet back on and just touch it to the glue so it sticks and it stops any dust or crumbs or hairs or anything getting on the glue. Um, I've no idea how many sheets are in this, but it is a lot. It's pretty heavy. They are very, very slippy. Um, I don't know, I'm going to guess Billy, 100, I don't know, but um, you can see there's a lot, I mean they're, they are thin and there is a really good weight in this, so I'm going to take a, just a stab in the dark and guess there's 100 in here, uh, it might be less, I don't know, so yeah that's really cool, really really cool, they will certainly be used Billy, thank you very much for that, um, I'll put them back in this bag before they slide uh, <laughs> they are very slippy not as easy as I thought it was going to be there we go ok so that's cover sheet so release paper people have got different names for this stuff release paper is another common one so that is a a really good pack of them. Oh, it's 100. I right, just decided to read the label. Um, 150 sheets. 
so really cool and um, that's good if you work on big diamond paintings you'll manage to get it covered um, so we'll go back to the box so these these are the boxes uh, that Billy was talking about but before I do that got stuff in the side okay so this is paddy wax I think looks like paddy wax uh, red velvet cake okay so this is meant to smell like a cake I'm going to test it mm, it doesn't smell like a cake to me but um, quite a strong perfume on it I'm sure it has paddy wax I can't read what that says oh no it doesn't say anything that's a side of a cake red velvet cake so this is an alternative to the pink wax uh, that I use as you can see um, a lot thicker a lot harder it takes a bit more of a technique uh, than this but I'll certainly give it a try um, I've got another one there, green one Australian bamboo grass oh, I'll smell this one All I can smell now is, is that cake one. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice So these these waxes are scented um, whereas your normal pink wax that you get in the kits um, doesn't have any smell so yeah, that's, that's really cool. Okay, yeah, we get to the thing that, that Billy was talking about. So these are staples. So I've never seen these. Uh, you, you can't get them in Denmark. So, I don't know if they're individual, if they're, oh yeah they are, okay. So they're individual tubs and they are a lot bigger than a tic tac box. Um, give me a second, I'll just get one. So this is, this is what I'm using, um, tic tac box. You can see the difference in size. Um, these are much, much bigger. They'll hold a lot more uh, than these. And that is, I really like the Tic Tac boxes, but the big problem for me is they don't hold enough drills. And I think that's what Billy was referring to when he said Tic Tac boxes suck. Um, I really like them. I wish they did them in a much bigger size, but they don't. So I've been looking for alternatives. And I know that a lot of people use these. Um, I've, I've seen the name mentioned a lot, but I don't know if they're only available in the USA or if it's just that I'm really unlucky that I can't find them in Denmark. So... Um, I don't know how many you actually get. What have we got? 3, 6, 12, 18, 24. 24 in a box. Yeah, they actually lock. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little slot in the tab there. So they lock, which is really good. I'm not too keen on the idea of ones uh, where you have to twist, like unscrew and screw, unscrew and screw. Um, when, you, when you're doing ones with a lot of colours, um, the next one that I'm going to start working on has 90 colours in it. So I don't really fancy unscrewing and screwing tubs all the time. Um, the Tic Tac boxes, I like the fact that you flip it, but this is pretty much the same really. Um, really easy really easy 
much bigger storage, um, definitely an advantage. And I like the fact that they're individual. I've seen uh, some tubs, in fact I've got something else that I've been trying that comes in a row. Um, they're a bit different. I might actually do a thing about these compared to Tic Tac boxes compared to the other ones. But I've seen some where it's like these but they're joined together. So you get a row and when you open one you open them all. Um, I really don't like that idea. Um, I prefer individual boxes with individual colours so pretty cool. I like these, I like this tab. Nice and easy. Click, click. I like that. So yeah, that looks that looks good. Um I'll put these in just now, not in any particular order. Um maybe I should because you don't fit. Right, I'll just take them out the time. Organised chaos. So these will go in the box. I think they go like this. Obviously once you've got them all in the box it's a lot easier. Okay, I'm not going to waste time doing this, but you get the idea. They basically all fit in this box and then basically like a sandwich box so then you can uh, click the lid and it's snappable as well uh, which is pretty much the same idea as the tic tac boxes just looking at the difference in size comparison so I like the idea that they're all in a box and stops them all getting mixed up uh, okay I'll fix that later. And I'll have a look at the second box because I can see that Billy has put stuff in this one as well. So cover minders. They're cool. And these things are used if you are using the bigger covers and you fold it back these help to hold it down because you get the top piece that has a little magnet and you get a magnet to go with it so what you do is you put this underneath and you put this on top and this is what holds your cover in place so pretty cool little teddy bear and the other one is a little flower. You can see again two magnets, and that's how they work. It's pretty cool. I like the way that reflects the light. So two cover minders as well. Very nice. So again, another box. We won't open this one. Mm. Oh, washi tape. I think this is washi tape. Yeah. I would say it's washi tape. Uh, my Chinese is excellent. It says washi tape. Um, again, this stuff I have never seen before. I don't know if I actually mentioned it to Billy. This is more wax. Hang on, I'll talk about the washi tape. Because what I've been using is uh, masking tape because we don't have washi tape in Denmark and I've been using this it's just masking tape that you use if you're painting uh, the skirting boards and you don't want paint on the wall that sort of thing so it's just uh, good old masking tape from the DIY store this is what I've been using and what you use this for is um, when you get a diamond painting around the edges you find that the glue overlaps the painting so what people do is they put tape over it to stop their hands sticking on it. It's really irritating and it stops fluff and things so it keeps it clean. Um, and I hear people talking about washi tape all the time. I had to Google it because I had no idea what they were talking about. But it's basically the same idea as this. 
much thinner, um, but much nicer. You get it with different colours and patterns and things. And basically it works the same way. You use this to cover the glue around the outside of your diamond painting. So yeah, that's cool. First time we've actually seen this stuff in person. And he sent me two. So two different types. So you can see two different colours. No no pink unicorns or anything nice manly colours here. Um yeah, that's cool. I look forward to trying that. Uh, just to see the difference between using masking tape and using this. Uh, it might come off a bit easier than this. Sometimes um, this doesn't come off as easily as I would hope. But it does come off. It does work. Um, but I think this tape might be a bit thinner. And that's what people use it for, so uh, we'll see. Um, that last one was another wax. Love tropical style. Okay. Oh, upside down. Ah. Goes round upside down. So it's a cat and a banana. I have no, I no idea. Um, what a love heart, which is moulded into the wax. I'm going to smell this one. Yeah, it's not as strong as the other two, but it has a nice smell. Um, this is uh, heavy. It's it's a bigger tub. I have uh, shown the tubs before that you get with uh, from I'm trying to remember who, Diamond Dots and Home Craftology. They do little tubs with uh, the pink wax in them. But they aren't as big as this, they aren't as heavy as this. This is a, a much more uh, solid tub. But pretty cool. Um, it's nice to see uh, people coming up with all these different ideas as alternatives. And uh, basically all you do is find something that you think you would like the smell of. So not essential for diamond painting, but I uh, understand the appeal. Um, of all these different colours and scents <coughs> so this is going to last uh, forever I would say all of this wax so to put that one back um, yeah I'm just trying to remember everything that he sent me so we've got all these waxes and we've got the cover minders. <laughs> it's because of the magnet that, that's rejecting that one. <coughs> um, Billy's card, which obviously I'm going to show. So again, Billy's diamond painting and more. If you want to see Billy uh, unboxing and uh, showing you a lot of different uh, diamond paintings, um, he, he's got a lot of videos if you haven't already watched them I would definitely recommend that you do uh, got to plug the guys uh, as I said it's not really a, a guy's thing I don't think uh, very few men do diamond painting but I find it very relaxing and I really enjoy doing it so it's nice to see more men doing this um, <coughs> another thing that I forgot was the straightener. So that, that's uh, that's pretty cool because it means that you can uh, straighten quite a lot of drills at one time. Just go down the edge and push them in and make them straight, nice and straight. So really cool. And of course the don't need space for this stuff, Billy. Um, we had the the cover sheets as well. 150 them as well and of course the the two packets of washi tape so that was uh, just making sure that you haven't put anything else in here Billy <laughs> yep that's it so yeah two boxes um, of these uh, new tubs to me 
said I'd never seen them before, I can't get them in Denmark. The only way that I can get them, as far as I know anyway, is uh, by ordering them from the States, um, which can be pretty expensive. Um, I know that this cost nearly $26 to post. So just postage itself um, is very expensive because um, I think the individual items here aren't really that expensive. But when you throw on $25, um, it becomes very expensive. So um, that's that's why I don't really order stuff from the States. Um, and then <coughs> normally what happens is, I was lucky with this one, but normally what happens is if, when I order a diamond painting from America, customs hold it and I get an import tax added and I get a customs handling fee added on top of that and that is normally in the region of another $25 so $25 for postage $25 to get it off your customs and it's 50 bucks uh, and that's not including however much I spent in the diamond painting so it's expensive living in Denmark so that's it um, huge thank you Billy, uh, for all this stuff, really, I wasn't <laughs> expecting this. I thought you were going to send just a couple of tubs. Um, uh, uh, yeah, a really, really um, big thank you for that. Um, so, again, if anybody's thinking about how they're going to store their drills, um, these are Harbour Freight tubs. Um, I know that somebody somewhere is probably going to comment and say, Jim, you can get them wherever from the UK or something, I don't know. But I couldn't find them when I was looking for them. So Billy decided to send me something to show me uh, why Tic Tac boxes suck. Um, all I can say, I haven't, obviously I haven't tried them yet. I can see why these are better. Um, I like that snapshot. Very secure, no worries of it being tipped over. Um, and they hold a lot more than the Tic Tac boxes. So, yeah. Yep, cool. Really like them. And again, just uh, to show you the difference. You can see uh, they're at least twice, two and a half times wider. Not as tall, but. Um, you get about, try to remember now, uh, two, four, six, eight hundred, eight hundred drills in this. I would imagine you're probably going to get about twelve hundred in this, easily. So it means you don't have to top these things up as much as you have to top these up. And like I said, when you're working on large diamond paintings, that is a definite advantage. So that is it. Um, Again, I'm going to mention it again, have to do it, uh, since Billy was so kind to send this stuff to me. Billy's Diamond Painting and More on YouTube, uh, Billy's Diamond Painting and More on Facebook, and the same again on Instagram. If you haven't seen any of uh, Billy's videos, uh, I would suggest that you do. He has unboxed a lot of stuff. So, uh, what can I say? Um, thank you so much, Billy. Um, a lot of things here that I never had. Um, all I was expecting was a couple of tubs. And when I say tubs, I thought maybe you would just send like one or two of these things just to let me see what they looked like. I um, wasn't expecting all of this. So, my Christmas has come early, for sure. So, as I said, um, you need to check out um, Billy's YouTube channel. Um, and, uh, yeah, just so much stuff. Uh, the room smells very, very nice now, thanks to these waxes. Um, washi tape, never seen it before. Uh, looking forward to trying it and uh, seeing how it compares to the good old masking tape. Cover minders will definitely use them. 
straightener again will definitely use it uh, it comes in handy when you've you've uh, got the edges done in your diamond painting and you're just looking for that little push to line them up um yeah yeah nothing else i can say um thanks very much billy uh, really appreciate it um this is one of the things that i've noticed with the diamond painting community as well i do see people opening things from other people people will send them little gifts and um, it's nice to see uh, that, that people are helping each other, supporting each other um, and, and just having a bit of fun and considering what's happening in the world at the moment I think that is very very important it's nice to see people um, coming together and having a bit of fun uh, and enjoying diamond painting um, I started this in January um, last year if you asked me anything about diamond painting I, I wouldn't have had a clue i wouldn't know what you were talking about um now um i definitely uh, have a clue so uh, i think i've got well between my wife and i i think we're up to about 52 diamond paintings or something like that so um yeah it's definitely addictive um if you're new if you're thinking about diamond painting i would definitely say give it a try um, but I think most people once they start doing it they, they will find out um, what it is about it, it it's it's relaxing um, and it's really nice to finally frame uh, the work that you've been working on for weeks like these two um, and put it up on the wall and sit back and think I made that so yeah, it's nice. It's a nice hobby and you've got something at the end of the day to show, um, which I think uh, is really, really cool. So that's it for today. Um, I really thought this one was not going to happen. Uh, but as I said, 72 days that package took to get here from America to Denmark. I think both Billy and I had decided that I had uh, got lost in the post. But I'm pleased to say that it didn't. So that's it. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Um, and again, the people that comment, thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram, if you have Instagram. Uh, Diamond Painting Gym. I sometimes post up little videos and things there that um, you won't see on Facebook. So, um, yeah. Thanks, Billy. So in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.